So uh, honestly, what I'm doing is buying myself time to turn the camera on and make sure that everything sounds good. But uh, while we do that, while we wait for myself, let's go ahead and comment below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe let's start with your name and where you're watching from. And then also I'd love to hear about uh, maybe the latest project you're working on or your favorite software. So if you can post a link below, go ahead and post a link to your portfolio. We'd love to check it out and see what you're up to. And maybe even let us know what your favorite uh, software is or maybe your favorite subject. Do you like web design or print design or making t-shirts or logos or branding? I don't know. Go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'd love to check it out. And then also, if you'd love to see what I'm up to, you can check out my work at DerekMitchell.com. You can see some YouTube videos at YouTube.com slash Derek Mitchell. And then also live streaming at Behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage. So you can check me out there. And then did I say Instagram? I don't know if I said Instagram yet or not. Instagram.com slash DMitchellDesign. So hopefully there's links and buttons and stuff here right there. Uh, anyway. All right, guys, we're about to dive into some really cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment in the thread and I'd love to, again, see what you're up to and I'll try and answer your questions as we get going, but let's go ahead and dive in. Today's video is sponsored by the graphic design bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you want to learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more. Check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. One last thing I was going to mention too, because I don't know how much time I'm going to need to turn all this on. Maybe it's ready to go and you know, the real me, the live me can just, just cut this off and we can get to it. But in case I need a little bit more time, let me just tell you about myself. So my name is Derek Mitchell. We've been over that. Also, uh, I live in Montana, in Kalispell, Montana, actually, which is just outside of Glacier National Park. And I've got four daughters and a wife, and we have tons of fun doing outdoor things like riding bicycles. We float the river on our paddle boards. That's a ton of fun. I love to downhill mountain bike. That's a ton of fun. When it snows for like nine months out of the year, we like to go snowboarding and skiing. So uh, I feel like I'm rambling. So at any point, Derek, just go ahead and just you know, let's do this. Let's get live. Let's start teaching. What is going on, Miles? My dog just came to say hello. Hi, Miles. Let's say hello to the people. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. This is Miles, my poodle. We're working on his mohawk. Are we live? Are we doing this? Hey, what's we going are. on, guys? Uh, welcome to today's live broadcast. It's a little bit different today. We're down in Jenna's office. Uh, she's back there running the studio. Say hi. Which camera am I looking at? Which one do you have me on here? Oh, golly. I don't know. This Let's one. Do that. <gasps> there we are. Yay. I don't know. Oh, you have fun. Oh, special guest. You only get to see half of my face. <laughs> <laughs> and your middle camera is not the face one, so you might want to fix that. Uh, you're the producer. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, fix it. Fix it. Which camera is that? All right, guys. So clearly we've got a lot of fun in store today. Right you, and then... um, just push button. You can't break anything. I did it. Did you do it? I did it. So much fun, guys. This is going to be such a fun show. Uh, yes. So after, was it just only yesterday, Paul and I went live and we decided that I, this, this poor laptop, even though it's a very great laptop and I'm so thankful for it, it just had a hard time keeping up with everything. So Jenna's going to be producing. I'm going to be just working on Photoshop so my computer doesn't, you know, melt. And, uh, and we're going to work on Paul's stuff some more. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to let Paul and Jenna kind of steer the, the, the ship a little bit. They'll be jumping in with comments. If you have questions, jump in, ask questions. We'll be doing some giveaways. I'm pretty sure I got Paul. I talked him into giving some stuff away. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Put them on the spot. Uh, just did. Jenna, just did. We are Jenna, giving away. It's happening. Uh, Jenna's giving. We're going to yeah. give away my confidence course today. Love how it. to create confidence in any situation at any time with anyone. That's a bold promise. And I That's stand by yeah, it. Is. Uh, yeah, it is. What's your, what's your Behance channel again? So I can be watching uh, that chat roll. Uh, you just go to two ways. Creativebrief.live will redirect to it and make it go. easy. At creativebrief.live. Uh, but it's it behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage, whatever. All right, did you get through that? Sure. Cool. I only see Paul and I. Why can't we see your pretty face? Um, because 
Just you and Paul are what matters. I'm the producer. Oh. I'll pop in she's and out got, here and she's there. Got quips over there, everybody. You need to show off your lashes. What are you talking about? Yeah. Hit uh, on. Uh, right. Here, let me see if I can. Let me see. Give me a sec. Hold on. Do like an extreme close up. Be like, check out these lashes. There you go. Yes. Look at those glorious things. They can cover a multitude. You bat your eyes fast enough, you're taking flight. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Do we have anybody on the live yet? We cut our our producer was in a big hot hurry. We have that 15 minute timer both so we can get our live stream up. We got stuff to do, man. We do have stuff to do. Stuff to do. True. They can catch the replay. We we got a minute. So we've got uh, nine people growing on what I can see through restream here. We've got three people on Behance. So if you are just tuning in, let us know that you're here. Drop your name, where you're tuning in from. Uh, Send a link to your portfolio. Derek and Jenna and I love taking a look at those. Uh, Also, uh, we're rounding out the end of the year. Yeah. What are you most grateful for? Drop that in the chat roll too. Mm. Oh, is my computer going to be a son of a gun today? Is your stream buffering? I heard you. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to be good. Producers watching the perfect. The, is, are we good, Jen? I think we're good. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, um, gosh, we've got uh, Fairy Creation tuning in from Germany. She's over wow. on well, he she is over on Behance. We've got uh, interesting study facts. Long name, amazing results from India. He also got the first like. Good job. And then uh, Facebook user, if you are tuning in from Facebook, look for a little link that says give Ecamm permission to do some stuff. Uh, and if we we don't get that figured out, if you're on Facebook, just let me know. Uh, like, hi guys, love Ray. Like <laughs> whoever that is. We've got Gustavo, an Italian living in Prague. Prague, Prague. Is that tomato, tomato? What do you think, Jenna? Prague or Prague? It's Prague. Interesting it's Prague. side note. And I know that pretty definitively. She had a, uh, what are they called? Student. A foreign exchange student. That's the one. Years ago when I was in high school. And she lived in Prague. So that's how I know. There you go, Gustavo. Small world. Yes. Can you switch my camera to the one that says Epoch or Derek's phone in the middle? Just add that one and remove the other one. A little plus and then the minus. Go like that. Maybe. Well, and then take off the other one. This one? Hold on. Slow and steady. There we go. This is her We're first time, Breaking guys. in a rookie here. Really excited about it. Oh, my gosh. And if you guys knew how technologically incompetent I was, you would know <laughs> what a hot Christmas miracle it is that I'm doing this. Oh, man. This is love. Is that better? Is that better? Because then I can look here and glance. And sure. Eye contact. Do I need to do it this way? Slide to the left. Look, then you can see the Slide. baby, too. It's like very, very I know. Cool. I'm like, okay, got to recenter here. I know. <laughs> I know. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, let's do this. All right. So while while we are talking, uh, the other screen you can go to, Jen, the one that says Derek screen. It'll have Perfect. all three of us sitting there on the side. And this you can one? See my screen too. Sure. Love it. Yeah. There's enough of a delay. I can't tell on cool. the screen. I'm, but uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be working on some assets for Paul while Paul and Jenna answer like freelancing questions and other fun things. It's gonna be a, a great show. Uh, I'm already multitasking, so so let's. I want to start designing. We're going to get into some feedback. Paul, do you want to do a quick recap on what we did and where we're headed, so I can start designing on this stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So what you're going to see right here in front of you, if you are familiar with Photoshop, you graphic designer ninja, you this is looking familiar because this is an art board, and this is where Derek and I met yesterday to give you a little bit behind the scenes look of what is Derek's creative process? How does he work with a client, yours truly, to figure out some ideas for some logos, for some graphics. Um, This is gonna be a thumbnail. I don't even have the terms because I'm not a graphic designer. Help me out with the terms. So we're we're kind of building collateral, brand collateral for your entire New Year's bash. That's what I'm gonna call it, New Year's bash. So basically what we're doing is you need an email like a header image, you need yeah. uh, email header, um, the thumbnail for your course when it's all said and done and you publish right. it. And then right. there are some other things too. I don't know if you want some social graphics or what we're doing here. 
Um, yeah. But we're so just gonna, I, yeah. I approached Eric and I just said, Hey, I, I want to get this out there. What can we do? And he goes, well, I want to go live and show my audience a little bit of that behind the scenes look and also look over my shoulder as I'm working with a client. So if you missed yesterday's episode, uh, it's available at Behance, it's available on YouTube, it's available on Facebook. Uh, it's 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 like American Express, it's everywhere you wanna be. So go check that out for sure. We had a blast yesterday. We ended up coming up with the puke green uh, background as an easy throwaway. And then this today is kind of that second iteration. When you meet with your client and you've done some work, you've prepared those assets, and now you're ready for some client feedback, some additional input so you can keep the project moving forward because yeah. systems and Jenna is like one of the best people I know to talk about systems. <laughs> what is your approach when you're, when you're looking at a project, uh, because you you're managing a few different projects right now. How do you come in and take a look at systems, actions, coordination to meet those deadlines? Sure. Well, that is a super loaded question because it is different for every client and every personality because everyone organizes in a different way. So some people like handwritten organization, some people prefer digital. And then within that, there's just infinite amount of breakdown. I think that the, the biggest thing that you can do is do it a lot. It, it doesn't matter what system that you're using. You have to be consistent. consistent. It's only going to work if you work it, I guess. That's the advice I give my yeah, clients the work all works the time. You do the work, so get the work. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Did that, I don't know if that answered your question, but, um, I, I think question. so. Okay. It is, it is. And, uh, India, give me a name India. Cause I, I'm, I'm going to guess that your name is not interesting. Study facts, Mr. Miss, Mrs. Facts, uh, question coming in. What platform do you use now, sir? I think Derek, that's for you. Uh, are we talking uh, Behance or are we talking Creative Cloud? I don't know which platform we're even talking about here. Um, okay, so while we get that figured out in the chat, um, yesterday you noticed as we were going live and you told me in the phone call afterwards, we my Photoshop, my Photoshop, Photoshop crashed on me. So I don't have the latest that we did. So I'm going to be redoing some of this stuff. The other thing I want to point out is the brand assets we're working with and some of the comments, my designer friends were like, eh, that's not my favorite. <laughs> I felt bad because you're basically roasting <laughs> Paul. That's code for, <laughs> for that and, and what we're doing right now is we're trying to work within what he's already done. And for a non-designer, he has done fantastic, but we're trying to work within the library of assets that he already has. So on my screen, if it loads, which it's not, but once it does, I already have some fonts and graphics that Paul has made that we're using to rebuild this. So uh, for example, this stencil font is basically a non-negotiable. Whoa, that's weird. Why do I hear myself? Sorry, it's because I was loading the chat. That was that was like Inception. It was like it was. dream within a dream. I could hear my voice in my head. Um, it's just like regular, but you guys could hear it too. Um, voices, anybody? <laughs> No? Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, Stencil, this font is basically a non-negotiable. That's part of his brand, uh, Stencil and Futura. So we're going to use those fonts. These colors are his fonts, these jewel tones. Uh, the gradient background is part of his brand. So we're trying to work with these pieces and build the asset. So we're not getting like super creative. We're just kind of just doing the work right now. So uh, that's where we're headed right now. Just trying to do the work right now. This is a 19... 20, 1920, I need to rename this. 1920 by 1080. This is basically going to be the video thumbnail. And then I'm going to copy this artboard and clone it to be the size for an email broadcast and then maybe some social media graphics as well. So I want to ask a couple questions for Paul uh, and then I'll let them kind of chat back, back and forth. I'm just going to do the work and they can interact with the students. Paul, 2021, take command. Remind me what we had kind of done for a subtitle. Uh, New Year's live stream, I think is what we had down below. And New Year's year apostrophe S live stream, Jenna. Oh, oh, that's right. Good question. Let me let me consult the grammar. New Year's live. <laughs> well, first of all, it's N E W, not N W E. Did I? Wow, I had to look at that like five times. Yeah. Nui. I did it right. Nui. Right. It's like it's good now. So this Nui. is one of those weird things that there is a grammatically correct way to do it, but it's been done incorrectly so many times that both version is widely accepted. Hey. Technically, there should be an apostrophe. We're gonna we're gonna go with the apostrophe because it's grammatically correct. 
Yeah. I think I, we want to be like, and, and I, and we've already had some of your students like checking out my website and being like, Oh, Paul, like that teeth sucking, like, Oh, Paul, <laughs> nice try. But we have some, we have some oh, Paul. party gifts for you. Yeah. So we're not going to get hit up for not having proper punctuation. <laughs> That's so funny. We've got Ayub EX. Finally, I found your Behance. Yeah. Welcome. So glad. This is a lot if of you are just you doing this, we are doing some client assets for me. I'm the client. Uh, Derek is here working the Photoshop. Jenna is here. And while Derek's working the Photoshop piece, we're here to answer your questions mm -hmm. live for whatever you have. Uh, we have pretty extensive backgrounds that I think overlap in the middle. And, and it's Derek's in the middle, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. My yeah. sandwich between you guys. Yeah, you get it's to be a good the place to be. Spin. It's a good place. I must be just such a troublemaker that, uh, yeah. All right. So Jenna, I'm I'm questioning some of my life decisions right now. Yeah, like what? Decaf coffee. Oh. That oh. shouldn't ever be. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Like you're switching to decaf, or are you 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 play with Photoshop? This is Jenna and Paul time. Okay. Wow. <laughs> True friend. We'll put the baby in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why decaf? Just today or like in general? I listened to this book, an audible original about caffeine and just, oh. it kind of <laughs> slapped my brain away. Yeah. Uh, sir. Oh, Gustavo's weighing in. Decaf is not legal. Yep. We're breaking the law here, Gustavo. Oh, they're, people uh, are going to unfriend me and they're going to like. There's, there are things that I know that I should look into and I don't because I'm like quality right. of life, happiness right. or knowledge. Yeah. Cause yeah. once you have knowledge, right. you have to act on it. Right. So don't send Knowing me the link the to battle. whatever you listen to. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. I, I, I'm not going to be sharing that with a friend. Uh, so interesting study facts coming in. Please tell tools name as well. What you use now because screen not properly editable um interesting study facts if you are interested in the absolute technical everything that derek is doing mm -hmm. this isn't the show for that uh we're you're going to be able to see him you can see the keystrokes if you're familiar with it if you are new to photoshop though uh today's live stream is brought to you by the graphic design boot camp and uh there are links somewhere there's no uh, links yet because we barely made it alive here. I can generate links. Okay. We're just we trying go. to figure out where to put them and how to interact with the chat logs. Yes. I'm navigating the dashboard, trying to right, figure right. it out. So the two basic, We're gonna get three basic. ready to go. Yeah. Yes. And Derek, would you please do the, the mouse thing to make your mouse like five times the size that it is for us mere mortals? So let's see. I'm using visualize to show my keystrokes. I know I'm having a hard time seeing this too. I'm on my laptop and I'm like, you're like um, right up on it struggling. I need to really get in. And plus I've got like lights in front of my face. It's, it's not the greatest, but you know what, whatever I can do to help my students out. If this is helpful, yeah. maybe they're like, dude, just, <laughs> all right. It's going to happen. Uh, uh fairy creation from Germany is interested in that link. So once we get that figured out, yes. here's, here's the reality check. Everyone who's joining us here live, we got together and wanted to create something to be of service. Mm -hmm. And we had the option to engineer it, to troubleshoot it, to set it up, to make sure everything was practically perfect in every way. And we said no, because that would take us until like February or March. <laughs> so we decided to get it good enough and go live because we want to share this with you all right now. Yes. So thank you for staying with us. Put your questions in the chat roll uh, and some of the feedback. If you're not able to see that mouse, uh, that that yep. helped us out. And then Fairy Creation, we are going to find that link for you and find a way to share it with you in just Working a little bit. What platform are you on? Let's Who's see. asking for what? That's yeah. interesting study facts. Okay. Is the mouse any bigger? I can't get the mouse to get bigger, but at least you can see me click. There you go. Make the logo bigger, cream. Yeah. Super great video. Can you look that up? You should show the students. Okay. Just Google make the logo bigger cream. I know where to find it. No, I was telling you that. <laughs> and uh, and let's go let's go with a stream instead of a steam. No no saunas on New Year's for me. I don't know, maybe. 
It's like a all both right, and. All right, all right, all right, all right. Like, right? This thing. Like, learn while you should. New Year's you Live know? Steam and Stream. It's like <laughs> surf and turf, right? Oh, I'm seeing what's happening here. Thanks, guys. Yep. You're welcome. We're here for you. You're welcome. Uh, I'm still struggling. I'm not even producing the show, and I'm still mm-hmm. like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. All right, Paul. Oh. Uh, should yeah. I push this graphic further? Uh, I know you had some ideas um, I, between it not saving yesterday. I'm just trying to like, okay, here's where we're at. This is currently, could be a thumbnail. Uh, we could also okay. change this later, do like a photo shoot with you and put you in the graphic for the videos. We could do a generic New Year's photo without text since the text will be below. Um, as we've been publishing on Skillshare and Udemy and other places, we were learning different platforms like different things and i can't remember which one of them does not like text in the thumbnail at all they just want a photo uh right you know so so be that as it may i kind of started with with this to to make smaller sizes for the email uh real quick feedback this this is basic basics good though like it doesn't have to be too too crazy I, yeah finished is better than what what is it good is better than done like done is better i don't, than I don't perfect. remember what that is. Yeah, and, done's better than perfect. Yeah, I know that um, because that's Jenna's mantra because I'm like, no, it has to be perfect. And she's like, okay, so you're not doing it then? And I'm like, thanks. Well, Jenna, Jenna is not mortal because she can make it perfect and meet the deadline. <laughs> us, yeah. us, us guys on this call, no. uh, we are going to do the best we can with that time allotted. Right. Ayub is really, really excited about your mouse. He, he wants you to plug it into your laptop. If you connect your mouse to your laptop, it's going to be better for you. Are you talking about me? Are you? Yeah. I, I'm not. Nobody's looking at my mouse. No, no, no. What? I don't even have. My mouse is upstairs. I've got a, I've got a thing. I've got a mouse pad. This is a glass top. It doesn't like the mouse, but my mouse is upstairs. And um, whatever. And I've got there a go, walking tablet, too. I've got all these fancy tools. I'm just trying to show you guys it can be done with very, very little, uh, whatever. The bare minimum. Minimum viable product, the MVP. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just opening up a bunch of windows uh, while my mind is thinking about it. Um, so I'm looking at New Year's and I'm looking at fireworks. I just open multiple tabs, hit Command T to open a new tab. So that way, as it's loading, I can kind of get all my thoughts out. And then I just go back through all the tabs and just kind of quickly look again at if there's anything that stands out. And then I just jump over to the next one. So Envato Elements and Adobe Stock, those are the two I, I recommend and, and spend most of my time in. And for free? Pexels. Yep. Pexels. Or Pixabay. 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 Gotta love those free assets. Freebies. I didn't even look at those yesterday. I should have. Oh, look at that. I could have saved some money. Could have. Could have. All right. Here's one from Pixabay. Mm -hmm. Free download. I probably have to say thank you to somebody. And I think that Pexels is even starting to overtake Pixabay in terms of their content library. Um, I use that a lot with one of my last clients. Yeah. Um, They have good variety. So either or, you guys. And then you can, obviously, you can tip the creator. Hey, that's if fancy. You're feeling, feeling generous. Cool. Absolutely. So There's I definitely a recommend Unsplash if Unsplash as well. Oh, Unsplash is a good one. Yep. Yep. It, it it has a little bit of a different uh, library, different assets up there. Yes, because a lot of these ha- do have overlapping assets. That's a good point. Well, thank you, Anna Louise. Nice. Appreciate the file. Uh, fairy creations cracking me up. Your audience is so awesome. Uh, fairy creation saying, how does a mouse pad help you without a mouse? <laughs> all right. All right. Everybody's got jokes. Well, I think it's because I have his mouse. No, mine's upstairs. Oh, is it? Yeah. I can't tell the difference. What I'm saying is like. They all look the same. I, I didn't have the mouse pad. And so I was like, forget it. And then my mouse ended up upstairs in the upstairs <laughs> studio. And then I got a mouse pad, but the mouse is still up there. And I don't feel like going to get it. So, you know. I've got lots of problems. Tech, though, I'm in. I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh gosh. You know what's interesting with this graphic here? If uh, <laughs> nothing, Paul, nothing is interesting yet. <laughs> what if? You know how you did that thing for let the fireworks be within the 2021. Oh, there you go. All right. Let's play. Let that image that. be in there. Like Let's you know play. how to do that graphic design thing. 
Yep. Yeah. Where you're going to fill. You're going to fill it. Look at that. Look. The, and then the you feelings can, uh, I have about this, though, is that it clashes with your... Yeah, there's lots of stuff happening. There's too much happening. Are we yeah. are we super married to the Take <sighs> Command color scheme? Yes. For no. Everything? No. Okay. no. No. We're not. Oh. Nope. Right. We can we can white out the uh, the Take Command. Uh, Gustavo is a big fan of Envato Elements. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gustavo. All of the things there. Awesome. Right. So... I just cloned the artboard. Um, this is really difficult for me, guys. Paul, you and I talked about this yesterday. Um, I love going yeah. live. I love the engagement and the interaction. I am struggling to have my brain be able to focus on creativity and everything else. Yeah. This is tough. I I feel like uh, I don't even know. But thank you, guys. Well, for, in, the, uh, in the wise words of Justin Timberlake, cry me a river. <laughs> can we can we see the firework fill on a solid black background instead of the yeah French? let's let's do let's do i feel like they compete a little bit yeah and i think a good rule of thumb is derek how many uh tier one elements do you want in a design how many so my favorite thing to say is hierarchical structure because oh, fancy fancy words and so basically up and i also like what's that i know breaking out the big words for the international yeah. audience here so go. basically like everything can't be the same volume or it's going to be like a day in my house with all my kids yeah <laughs> another way to like simply look at it is your design is a pyramid your most important information and your most important graphics are at the top and there's only room for so much there um right it's the same right. with your main font your main color scheme and everything else has to filter underneath and has to match and uphold that those top level pieces mm -hmm. so if you get too many things they start to fight and then you don't know what to focus on you don't know what's important yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna circle back to what derek was talking about for our chat yesterday with what he's doing right now so if you are lurking if you are here being a lurker means you're like watching but you haven't chatted or let us know that you're here where you're tuning in from please do so Yes. Send Derek some love because here's here's the thing. Having been a musician, a musical artist, my practice time is is something that's very private. Uh, I I like to be in a soundproof recording or, or a soundproof room so that way I could work through the different aspects of the the musical passages. And Derek is allowing us a glimpse directly into his creative process live. <laughs> With us continuing to ask him questions and just <laughs> yeah, like get inside his his brain. So please give a shout out. We've got Fabian uh, saying thanks for being around. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for contributing that. Uh, and what we're wanting to do is give you that behind the scenes look for yeah. what does it look like for that initial client meeting. Mm -hmm. How do you do the work under a timeline? Because right. y'all can keep polishing stuff and never release it. Right. And that's not going to get you more clients. That's not going to grow your business. And I think really quickly, kind of piggybacking off of that, Paul, is our students ask a lot, how do you how do you come up with creative ideas? And, and how do you quickly come up with multiple looks for a client? And I think how Derek is designing right now where he's duplicating things and then tweaking, and then he'll duplicate that tweak and adjust that one. And then very quickly, you have three, five, ten unique looks that are kind of the same, but they're all a little bit different. And this is a very quick workflow and a quick way for you to generate new looks for your client while also having them be different, but you're not having to sit down and come up individually with five different oh. thoughts. You just let it flow as you design and end as you're creating. Yeah. And speaking of flow, it kind of sucks right now. It's I, all right. I am embarrassed at myself. Um, we're so, good though. Paul, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Who's your target market? Tell us a little bit about your target demographic for this project. For for this is, you know, anybody that ah, oh, you're gonna totally love on me for that one. I let <laughs> I let loose to anybody. My target market <laughs> in general is executives. Yes. My target market, I anticipate, is in some sort of retreat 
in 2021. Mm -hmm. So the target market that I have here are the people who are hungry, the people who maybe got rocked on their heels or knocked on their butt in 2020, or the people that recognized an opportunity to adapt, improvise, change mm -hmm. to what was happening in the world around them. Yeah. And they're ready to serve at that next higher level. Wherever you're at, you have a next higher level. And so we're going to take a look at how to set goals. And then instead of talking about the habits of how to like get those goals accomplished, we're going to talk about creating systems for success. Mm -hmm. And I'm using uh, my military background. I was a Marine for 15 years. And the, the focus of what I did towards the end of my career was plan. Yeah. Plan for stuff that we we had no idea what could happen, where it could happen, and how do you make a plan for success? So I'm bringing in some of those universal planning principles and sharing that with people on January 1st uh, on this live stream. We're not going to do the, the steam and stream anymore. We're just going <laughs> to have a stream. Love it. Uh, yeah. So that's that's what I'm looking to do. And I, I want to okay. serve at an even higher level. And I said, let's do it on New Year's Day. I don't. I don't drink anymore, so I don't have to worry about a hangover. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. It'll be and, a celebration uh, of confidence. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. A lot of people got rocked this year. I got yeah. rocked. Uh, this Everybody definitely did. It was there was change right? on so many levels, regardless of what industry you work in, your age. Like n nothing was sacred. No one was spared. This was a very right? interesting year. Yeah, it you are joking. And one of the things I've I've seen in connecting with veterans, military veterans around the world, is you have a bond because of some shared misery, some like suffering that you can compare notes with. Like, yeah. what was your boot camp like in Sweden or Germany? One of my good friends, uh, Fairy Creation, is an Air Force veteran from the German Air Force. She's the one that introduced me to yoga. Uh so I look at this, there's a bond when you have shared suffering. I mean, look at the bond between mothers. <laughs> they, they have a bond that I can never get, participate with, right, Jenna? <laughs> yep, it's true. It's true. And, and COVID, think, COVID. Is, is that shared suffering for like the entire planet. We can come together and, and say, yeah, like this is how I adapted. This is how I learned. Or I was a little slow. It, it rocked me back. And I did come back. Yeah. Yeah. And I think there's, and you probably touch on this in this training, is that there's there's no shame in getting rocked back on your heels. Like it's part of the human experience. And it's it's how you respond to it that that really matters. So true. It 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 is not what happens as much as your intentional response around what you're gonna do about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I think enough said. We can put a pin in that one. <laughs> Look at that. Solved it. Done. <laughs> uh, Justin Darling is tuning in from Washington. Great information, oh, Derek. Hey, we're at we're uh, at Washington. I don't. You you keep doing the you keep doing the things. That's <laughs> yeah, all you get is from Washington. Know, if he wanted know. to say more, he would have said more. Well, we, I grew up in Spokane. I mean, we're practically brothers. You grew up in Utah. Me. No. Yeah. <laughs> I've been through Salt Lake Washington. City driving to Las Vegas, and that's the yep. extent of Utah for me. Utah. Okay. All right. I'm not digging uh, this, but see. we're just going to keep hey, going. It's, you know, the good and the bad. Um, we have a comment here coming in from, I think, YouTube. I have a problem that I can't choose one niche or two to promote myself in and find clients. That is a very common problem. You're not alone. Um, and there are two schools of thought, and they are equally as as workable. One is to drill down on a niche, and the other is to remain a design and marketing generalist. There is a place at the table for both. So I would say if you find yourself oscillating wildly, it looks like you like 3D and general 2D design. Those are very different things. Um, it, it doesn't hurt to dabble in both to try to find clients in both. And then as you start to gain traction and you decide to drill down that niche even further, then great. But until then, I think keep avenues of interest open because anytime that you can work in an area that you're passionate about, the work quality will be much better than if you're forcing yourself to do something that you have no interest in. Paul, other thoughts for him? 
Yeah, ab absolutely. Defining who you serve is a juncture to be able to grow your business at a greater level until you become that household name. Yeah. I resisted this. I like was drug along kicking and screaming, whining and complaining. <laughs> and yesterday's live stream, check that out because we talk about uh, if I was to get in the car with Derek and, uh, and, and, and I'd say, where are we going to go? And he'd go, we can go anywhere. I've got a car. And I'm like, okay, uh, let's go someplace. He's like, well, okay, I can go anywhere. Where do you want to go, Paul? I don't, I don't know. So you, when you define who it is that you serve, then you can really get in and understand the conversations they're having in their head. I, I want to have a logo, but it, it needs to be classy. It needs to be technical. It needs to be refined. It needs to be elegant. Speaking uh, of those terms, yeah. those mean very different things to everybody. So it's better to show a picture of what you're saying than to be like, yeah, I want to look grungy or modern or whatever. Yes. Showing examples is huge. Really quick. Just taking us all over the place here. Justin, yeah, Spokane, yeah. Derek grew up in the Valley. So it's just a very small I world. To, I went to Whitworth. Look yeah. at that. You're yeah. practically cousins Pr practically. at this point. I love it. Oh, it, I don't mind can. this blue one, Derek. Yeah. I'm. So I want to point out again, I pointed this out yesterday. Um, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Insert any level of excuses. Take, take breath. This one take looks, breath, this, right this, this, these blue yeah. ones to me look much more corporate, which might be more his clientele. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. the fireworks starburst, but that to me is more feminine. Sure. Which some of your clients, I mean, are high executive, you know, females I, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I actually uh, prefer working with executive women. Yeah. So, um, that. what I was going to say okay. is, even though I'm like, yeah, I really don't like this one. Maybe something I do here will will trigger something. Oh, it didn't? Okay, well, let's keep going. Sure. Okay, let's keep going. You never know what's going and to like inspire yeah. you and like bring something new out of yourself. Because creating is technically in, there's nothing new under the sun, but you are pulling something from nothing in a way. Well, and time. your memory is free. I mean, mm -hmm. if, maybe unless you're like me and my hard drive was like full yesterday, I had to delete a bunch of stuff and move stuff around. But- it doesn't cost you anything to just clone an artboard and try something else. Right. And so it if you're right. feeling stuck either because everybody's watching you and you're like, shoot, now just I got to try and be throw creative. throw stuff against the wall. Yeah. I don't know if you guys were watching how fast I was just like cloning stuff and being like, nope, this doesn't need any more time. <laughs> uh, yes. Try this. Nope. Nope. And then there might be elements of it that you like that you carry over to another design and then you eventually find like, oh, that's what I want. Well, what I like about this is if he wants to keep this color palette, it, it does work. Sure. You so, know, it, it's not fighting. Paul, what do you think? We're sitting here talking about your product, but you're here. What do you think about it? Well, I want to, I want to withhold the the input because right now in this, in this process, we had the initial meeting yesterday mm -hmm. where I provided my input to Derek and now he's doing his creative churn as though I wouldn't be able to see. So that way he can bring some additional ideas. Is, is it, yeah. is it, are we at that point that it's the additional ideas or are we going to um, do a, little, a few more? I, so there's a couple things at play here. We've got a hard cut on this live stream. What time is it, Jen? Uh, 12.39. You we got... have 18 minutes at most before I think Paul and I have to duck. Um, and a quick question I would say, and I don't know if you touched on this yesterday because I didn't watch the live. <gasps> I was oh, working, no. oh. but You're I know. Working. You're on another call. Shame. Um, but are there additional branding elements that need to be pulled from this to be applied to different mediums that we need to take into consideration? That is a question I have. Um, yeah, I didn't catch anything you just said. Hopefully Paul was listening. I That was a very large amount of technical speak that I was <laughs> looking to you, buddy. Are there other, Sorry. other, are there, is, mm, do you need to create other branding elements from this? Yes. For so, other things? Because yes. that might drive. Instagram. Okay. Posts, Facebook so, posts, LinkedIn posts. Because uh, you could use the abstract background that you've created here yeah. for something. I just didn't know if that's something that also needs created. So that's always something to think about as you design, guys, is beginning with that end in mind. Um, mm -hmm. If it's just a logo, even then, it's never just a logo because how are they going to be using that? Is it going on, you know, a printed piece, an embroidered piece? So if you don't think big picture for your clients, um, 
you're you're doing them a disservice. So put on your creative yeah. thinker hat, not just your design hat. Yeah, absolutely. Because as a client, I am not familiar. I do not know mm -hmm. all of these different aspects that someone in the industry is going to know. And if you are new to graphic design, that's why you're watching somebody like Derek create this. So that way you can pattern your business and your process after that. A uh, couple things from the, the chat role. Let's go with Fabian first. I've had a few ideas to sketch them out on paper first. Is that good? Uh, absolutely. I've got a series of like note cards floating around. I've got markers that when I get in front of a computer, I will go ahead and check email real quick and then I'll go check Facebook real quick and then I'll go check Instagram real quick and then I'll go check and then three hours have gone by and I haven't created anything. So for me, when I get ready to write a new course, I will start with a notebook because that way I don't have any other notifications to distract me. Jenna, your creative process? I, I definitely prefer to create on paper first. I feel like it's less limiting than the technicalities of, of digital. Um, Derek does the same, although it's, he will use a tablet with a, an app, like an Apple pencil. So it mirrors that type of free flow creativity, but it, if he loves something, it can just auto pull right into um, mm -hmm. whatever software he's using. And it, it saves some steps, but ultimately, yeah, I think whatever, gives you the most creative freedom and mental freedom so that you're not hampered by technology or whatever process you're going to use is, is a great way to go. Yeah. I love that. Uh, Fabian saying, do you need Photoshop? No, I can, t I can tell you that one. I can answer that one. <laughs> There's what Canva there is uh there are so There's some really many great different ones options. too. Um, yeah. Like, Canva is actually pretty simple to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what your Adobe goals are. Spark. Yeah. It, and it also I'd depends on your spark. goals. Like if you're trying to do more, like you might, you might not want to have a, a subscription, especially I know depending if you're as a student and things are tight, um, mm -hmm. There, there's like Pixelmator. There is, oh, there's a handful of them you can buy like once for like thirty or forty bucks. Uh, the problem is, maybe not the problem, but um, if you ever want to work with other people in the industry, it's so nice if you're part of the Adobe um, suite because you can hand assets back and forth so seamlessly. It's definitely the industry standard, but it's not the only thing there is. Uh, real quick, so I had a question for Paul as I was doing this. And they were chatting, so I just kind of kept going to keep things moving forward. But I know Paul, he is going to be streaming on Facebook. I don't think he's going to be, unless maybe I can twist his arm, I don't think he's going to be broadcasting to, to YouTube, but I like the red contrast of the yeah. YouTube logo. Yeah. Um, so I, I think Facebook is going to be the one, and I thought, well, maybe I'll do both. But this is kind of my thought process yeah. on these icons, just trying to add some visual interest and, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, obviously point out this is a live stream. This will be going out. You can catch it live. So. Right. Uh, any thoughts on that? I, I really like this one. I like the simplicity of it and I like the red, but I know that that's not what you're doing. Yeah, that's super simple. I was planning on YouTube for sure. I do have restreams so I can hmm. go YouTube and okay. Okay. Facebook. Then uh, I might leave it like that just because of the simplicity. I mean, I could do both of them. Are you going to do like Twitch or Instagram or any other lives no. too? No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good with like YouTube. Yeah. Something All right. Like that. I'm going to keep playing. I might stash both of them. I'll keep playing with both of them, but I really like this first one just like that. <laughs> I do too. That looks Better. pretty. We're heading the right yeah, direction. Pretty slick. For sure. Um, I, I, Ayub, if it, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, for sure. If you want to email me the link to your portfolio, uh, at complete graphic design at gmail.com, uh, I'd love to take a look at it. And if you haven't already and you're not part of our Facebook group, join the Facebook group. Yes. Get some feedback in there. Yes. And um, um, post it here on the stream. If you haven't already, post it in the stream so people can watch in this, can go back and look at it. Um, all right. So I'm in Illustrator. Uh, I'm just going to grab a vector asset I downloaded yesterday from Adobe Stock. I'm going to copy it, Command-C to copy, jump into Photoshop, and just paste it right in as a smart object. 
fun things you can do when, Mm -hmm. you know, back to the whole, what software do you use? You don't have to stay in one. You can, you can bounce back and forth. So, and uh, the Adobe creative cloud makes that just super simple. Yeah. Uh, one place, everything happens, like all the updates. It's, it's amazing. Uh, Ray is back from yesterday. Welcome back, Ray. He's suggesting, uh, lowering the size of the icons. Uh, Fabian, sorry for going off topic. We're doing this live, man. That's what we're all about. Yeah. Topic? I know not the meaning of the word. (laughs) Squirrel? (laughs) Oh my gosh. If you think this is bad, you should listen to me and Derek's podcast episodes. They are all over the place. All over. All over the place. All right. Um, just kind of screwing around here now with ideas and stuff. Also, just a reminder, uh, we, we've already said this like 10 times, but uh, I'm going to back out here for a second. Look at how many artboards I have. Like, I'm not married to any of these. Paul might be. I don't know. I'm just kind of quickly, quickly, quickly trying to throw ideas out and see what hits the wall. Sure. Yeah. As a client like that was doing my own design, I would attempt to do this. Add a drop shadow, add texture, add your bevel um, and boss. inner and outer glow. <laughs> what is it? The gloss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then try and shove into there also. We're going to do this at 10 a.m. Pacific on YouTube. Here's the channel. And it's yeah. like, I, I would try to put all of that on there. You're going to run into clients. You've got to save them from themselves. Mm-hmm. So that's where, Jenna, I love that you were talking about the tier one and the tier two, and I didn't understand it because that's not my thing. You got to make the most important thing the most important thing and yeah. then go from there. All right. Um, so we've got a few minutes with both Jenna and I. Yes. Uh, and... If you leave, then Derek would have to juggle production as well. So we might be. We could just leave it. We could just leave it set as is. Let's, this is a pretty good. A good this is a good direction. Do. I'm going to let my brain uh, think about this okay. while I do other things. So what I want to do with the last few minutes we have, uh, I want to kind of jump in. And can we jump into the, well, I was going to say we jump into the Facebook group. Maybe Jen and I do, do that later for the sake of Paul's mm-hmm. time. Uh, but what do you guys want to do? We've got about 10 minutes left. Yeah. Um, we want to take it. Q&A. Q&A. What questions Q&A. do you have? Put your questions in the, the in the yes. chat roll. We've got Behance up. And if you're watching from any of the other places, uh, Facebook, we've got Twitch. that up as well. Facebook, do us a favor. And and uh, just like Ray said, uh, like, Dash Ray. That way I know who's uh, talking. I don't want to use your name. I don't want to be like, well, Facebook user. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. The creative process. You know, I, I remember, so my, as a musician, my instrument was the saxophone. And I remember coming into the recording studio one day with one of my buddies that was a, a, a musical composition uh, major. And he said, Paul, I want you to get in front of the mic and just play. And I'm like, play what? And just play, play, play classical, play jazz, play mm. rock, play swing, play bebop, play. Bebop. He's like, just play. And I'm like, to just do that. I had never been challenged like that before. And oh, by the way, it was being recorded. And oh, by the way, there was like three people in the recording booth. That pushed me to grow in a way that uh, after that, I take my saxophone and I go set up outside of the grocery store in Missoula, Montana. Missoula. And I used to live there just for about play. three months. Did you? Long yeah. enough? Yeah. Long enough. Uh, <laughs> long enough. And so I would I would make sometimes twenty bucks and like a six pack of beer in a night hey, by that's learning. A good night. What? Trust, I'm doing this right now? Right? <laughs> good yeah, luck, as a nineteen year old college student. Right. Right. Yeah. So we've got uh, graphic tablets. Are the Chinese unknown brands any good from Fabian? I never used them. We actually did one for a giveaway once we gave to a student. Yeah. Um, Not sure what that student thinks of us anymore. If We're still friends. We tried something new. We were, yeah. Um, Wacom says, yep, Wacom is great. Uh, I mean, we are, 
religious users of all Thank things you, Apple guys. here in this house, um, oh, just man. because of the simplicity and everything talks to each other. Um, but Derek used Wacom for just years. Just the other day, Jen's like, hey, should we get a PC for the girls? Because this one's really cheap. And I was like, <laughs> do you hate me? They're not expensive. There's a reason. Kids break things. Hey, you know what, though? That, segs, that segues right into this conversation. Uh, don't buy cheap crap. Um, we have a saying in our household called no yeah. more crappy broken shredders. No more broken shredders. And where that came from was when we were first married, we bought the shredder, the cheapest one they had. He's being kind. I bought the shredder. She did. It was a, I it was, did it. And, and it, we hated it the whole time. It would <laughs> always jam. It would, if you did more than a couple sheets, you were, anyway, it finally broke. So not only did we buy the crappy yeah. shredder, we had to buy it again. Because we didn't buy it right the yep. first time. So the second we time. Had to spend the money twice. The second one, I bought such a good shredder that at one point, Jenna, she had some change on her desk and it like fell off the desk into the shredder and it shredded halfway through a quarter before we like stopped it. So that thing will tear your arm off now. And so yep. we've applied that to everything we buy. If you're going to buy it, buy it right the first time. I buy mm -hmm. the best that I can afford uh, because it's worth buying it once. And if you're going to use it every day, um, yeah. Like the headphones I'm wearing. These are very expensive headphones, and it's hard to justify spending money on that when you've got a lot of other things. But I wear these four, five, six, seven hours a yep. day. Right. And so at that point, and the chair I'm sitting on, like buy a good chair, buy a good Wacom tablet. Don't buy something that you're going to hate the whole time you use it. Sorry, I get real passionate about it. What Jenna's is, oh, tapping me on mind. the arm. I said right. I was offline, and then I panicked. But we're fine now. So Are we still on? We're good. Yes, we're we good. are. Does Restream see it still? You know, you, when you make an investment, it, it has to be in that place of wow. fiscal responsibility. So it has to make sense to spend the yeah. cents. If you are getting started, there are so many free resources for you to hone your creative craft. Get in there. Move the boxes around. Learn the elements. Uh, create stuff and ask for feedback. Uh, you have a, a great resource in the Facebook group that you can put up your portfolio in different elements and, and assets. Am I even using the words right? Yeah. You can put up different assets and get that feedback. You know, we've got Jenna who's agreed to review somebody's portfolio. We are here to serve. Yeah. Get in the game. Uh, there's a there's a misconception around being a perfectionist mm -hmm. with people saying like, it's gotta be perfect. <laughs> and then, and then take, take a look at the words a little differently here because the root word there is not perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. It's a verb. Mm -hmm. And to perfect something, you see Derek doing that. He's in there. He's working with it. He might not be sure which way it's going to go, where we're going to end up, but he's throwing ideas out there, taking variations on the theme, doing something completely different. So that way you can find what, what gains traction and then you can perfect it. So you perfectionists out there, put the emphasis on the other syllable and you are going to get a lot more work done for you, your business, your clients, everything in, in that's going on for you. So I would have yesterday been like, Paul, let's just roll with this graphic right here, which is fine. It would do the job. And I, I would have been like, okay. Yeah. Um, as I've been kind of pressing on and having fun with it, we've got some much different, some, I mean, we're using the same stencil font and everything. I was just playing with a different font. I just deleted it. I'll bring it back. Um, but I didn't like it. Uh, and, but as I, as I've been pressing on, like I kind of today I'm gravitating towards this one. It's like, this is fun. It's got some more to look at, but it's still clean and simple. Um, you know, okay, well let's throw in a firework. All right. That's kind of fun. Nods towards new year's, but I, Honestly, the final piece is probably going to be none of these because I'm going to think about it. And tonight or this weekend, I'll be like, oh, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just part of the process. So when it comes to designing assets and things, like today we were trying to have something done to show you guys. But usually what happens is don't promise a client, yeah, I can get this to you today. Yeah, I can get it to yeah. you tomorrow. Give yourself space. Give it room to breathe. Because then if you have space and it's not due today, if you run into a problem, you're not stressed about it because you got time to figure it out. You got mm -hmm. time to post it in the Facebook group and have somebody get back to you in an hour. And you're like, great, I can fix this tonight and get it tomorrow because I've got time. I, I never promise anything for a client. I usually say earliest like a three-day turnaround just because I've got kids. We have life. Stuff happens computers crash, things happen. And so that way you will never let a client down. If you're like, yeah, I can get it right back to you. Uh, if you get it right back to them, great. The other problem that happens on occasion is, um, if you get it back too fast, they're like, well, that was so easy. Why are you charging me so much? Mm -hmm. Well, because I'm really good at it, <laughs> but you don't, <laughs> but you can't, I mean, I guess you could say that, uh, but like sometimes yeah. I might come up with an, like right. hypothetically, if Paul wasn't watching me, 
let's say I, I you know, we started this yesterday. I might not send this back to him till tomorrow or maybe even Monday. I might sit on it. I might right. not change a thing. He doesn't know how much time I spend on it. He doesn't need to know how much time I spent on it. I don't care. He's paying for a result. And so. And sometimes that result, sometimes you get it right the first time. Right. Sometimes it's your 30th iteration and that's just the way of it. It's just. That's art. Yeah. Yeah. So for sure. um, I think we're about time to jump off here. So yeah, I think Paul can stay on a while if you guys want to keep working. Um, Um, I will probably work out. Get on the the messages. Would you? Yeah. Do that. I'm going to pop off guys. I can't get on messages. Maybe I can. I'm trying to broadcast. If not, you can have on my computer. Well, time out. You're brought, you're the producer. Where are you going? I'm not taking my computer. No, I'm just saying. There you go. You, you can do multiple things at once. (sighs) I believe you've got time for at least another couple questions. Jenna, thank you so yep. much. It was so great having you on here. Bye, everybody. Your lashes are on point. Uh, so let's see. There you go, honey. Ayub, which websites do you use for inspiration? Pinterest, ArtStation? Absolutely. And then get in there and take a look at what other graphic designers are doing. Like if you want to be inspired with graphic design, go find graphic designers that are posting their work on places like Instagram or they have portfolios that are out there and available. And... Be sure to check out that graphic design Facebook group. You're going to be able to find some inspiration there as well. Derek, where do you go for your inspiration? So typically what I do is I bounce between Behance.net. It's one of my favorites. Probably my favorites. Really, really high quality work on Behance. Uh, 100% recommend it, especially as somebody, if you guys have an Adobe cloud subscription, then you have the Adobe portfolio. So you can publish straight from Photoshop or Illustrator, wherever you're at, straight into Behance. So it'll help your portfolio stay current. And it's just a really great ecosystem for all of us. And again, really, really high quality work. So if you want to get inspired, that's a great place to look. Um, I look at when I'm doing logos, I look at the Logo Lounge books. And I look, sorry, I saw you text, Paul. Um, I look yep. at the Logo Lounge books. I look at Logo Pond. Uh, that's a fun one when I'm looking for new logos. Behance, again, there's a, there's a, there's so many of them. And what I'll end up doing is I'll pull up all these tabs. I'll just like, so if I was going to try and get inspired right now, I'd open up my browser. Let's say I'm working on a logo. I Before I even get lost in what I'm doing, I'd go to Logo Pond. I'd go to Behance. I'd go to, you know, maybe even Google image search. And I'd open up a bunch of tabs for what I'm looking Maybe even Envato Elements. Uh, maybe even Adobe Stock. Maybe even Pexels. I just open up all these tabs. I'm sitting in Command T and then typing them up. I'd jump back into each one of these tabs and I'd be like, okay, what am I looking for? So I'd open up Logo Pond and maybe I'm looking for, you know, I'd just start kind of scrolling through and searching for things that inspire mm-hmm. me, get them pulled up. Maybe we'll come in here and we'll go to Logo design while that's loading i'll jump into the next one and i'll look for logo go to the next one we'll look for a logo i don't know if there's many logos in adobe stock or not i think there is it's been anyway um so just kind of jump through all of them and then i go back through again okay and then um if i was building an artboard for a logo project i'd make a new canvas and i would just start throwing things down that inspire me um in no particular order. I'm just going to throw this in there, throw this in there, like just grab things that inspire me that I think maybe have an element that I might look at later. If you can't drag and drop because some sites have the JavaScript disabled, you could do a screenshot, command shift four, click and drag. And then before you let go, hold down the control key. So that way I can jump into here and just paste that screenshot in there. So then I just go through and I just throw all these things in there and I might be inspired by the color. So I might make a couple like color swatches and be like, okay, here's the color I want to work with, right? Whatever it is, there's my color swatches. Uh, Maybe I want to make another color swatch. And usually I do it a little bit cleaner like this, right? Okay. Maybe it's just the color I like on this one. Okay. So then I've got a color swatch. Uh, Let's clone that over here. Paula, you were regretting asking. All of a sudden, I'm on this like massive tangent. Oh, this is fabulous. I think that put it in the comments. Are you loving what he's going through right now? Give us give us some guidance here. So anyway, so that's how I would get inspiration. I would just throw this down, save it, and then come back to it later. That's how I try and quickly get ideas without getting stuck. Um, and then I would think on paper also. And I've, I don't know if you can see it in the angle. 
Which I'll let the camera up. So this really cool desk. It's um, it's got a glass top on it. I'm trying to look at which camera. It must be this one. So it's I, out, uh, yeah. I, uh, I don't know if you can see. No. There. All right. So I, I would literally like draw a square as a checkbox, and I'd write something. Yeah. Draw another square. Write something. So like it might be okay. Um, um. Sorry, I was. I, I would Big basically go through. Yeah, I would go through all of the different concepts I want to knock out, so I don't forget them as I get like really deep diving into one thing. Um, and then I would just go through and check them off, and then when it's all said and done, wipe it down because it's a glass top table. So <laughs> that's kind of kind of a fun way to work too. Yeah. Uh, let's Derek, see. Where, yes, uh, sir. What is the mouse that you recommend? Uh, I use. I've got a black Apple Magic Mouse Two or whatever it is. I really like it. Um, doesn't mean that's what you have to use. I just like how it looks on my desk and I'm drinking the apple Kool-Aid. I'm drowning in it. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> use whatever you want. I highly recommend Wacom, the tablets. Uh, the one that I have has a cable cause it's old and I was about to buy one the other day. They make them with Bluetooth connections now. So you can have your tablet with your, with your, uh, stylus. Uh, what's really cool with Photoshop for an iPad, you can use the Apple pencil on an iPad, which is really nice. I, I don't like it as much because I like having my hands on all the keys on the keyboards and, and I, and I could pair a Bluetooth keyboard for my iPad, but it's just, qu yeah. it's not quite the same experience yet. Um, that's what I use pretty much exclusively. Oh, and then I've got one of these and I've got the newer version too. So this is a magic track. Pad. Track pad. Yeah. I really yeah. like it cause the gestures, it makes it easy to have it beside and just kind of like do that, especially, um, the, like the expand gesture to see your desktop and stuff. So I like, I right, like using right. that or zooming in pinch, pull zoom stuff. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I do things. So is it normal to start designing without a tab that you put in, put it, put in it all your inspiring things? I, uh, you, I'm, I'm not understanding. Did he answer your, your big questions there with his uh, creative process though? Go ahead and put that in the chat roll. Uh, Facebook user. Give me your your name at the end of that because it doesn't uh, it doesn't let me see who you are. Uh, it's been having trouble figuring out how to move images over from artboard to Adobe Stock. Sounds trivial maybe, but maybe it can overwhelm. And then does Control Shift for uh, to screenshot for a non Mac? We are not experts on uh, non Mac shortcuts. Uh, we're, we're drinking <laughs> the the Apple Kool Aid, so you can definitely just look inside. There's going to be a guide for the shortcuts there on the PC. And, uh, I'll tell you what, I switched over to Mac a few years ago and I don't see myself getting a PC anytime in the foreseeable future. I always a tough, tough sell. Okay. We're almost, Oh, Oh, uh, there we go. I'm trying to hey there. Hey there. There's that. Oh, there's... hello. Hello. Hey, switching cameras, getting fancy. All right. Where are we at? Jenna? There, there we there go. Is. I figured we'd wrap up with this. this. This is all I've got. What's Boop. that? Can you hear me I can, okay? I can do the brand graphic. That's my overlay. This mic, I, it's hard to tell if I'm, how loud I am, but we're good. Cool. All right. Now I can add in people's comments because my producer left the show mid-show. What the heck? I know. I know. <laughs> I, we, we didn't talk about that. Uh, Fair uh, Creation, who is interested in the link for the graphic design bootcamp. So if there's oh. a way that you can get that link to her, him. Sorry, fair Where, creation. Okay, I, your, I'm looking. Your name is fairly gender neutral. So, so, uh, okay, so fair creation is coming in from Germany and says that uh, got myself an XP pen monitor. That one works wonderful for me. XP pen monitor, very cool. Uh, so I'm I'm totally coming up for air. <clears throat> I gotta. There we go. Uh, got <laughs> just some, the chair, a little bit taller than Jenna. Uh, yeah. So. We want to do some giveaways. What are we giving away, Paul? Who's who's the yeah. lucky winner? What are we doing? Boy, Ayub has been like Ayub and Fabian have just been like blowing up the chat roll along awesome. with Gustavo. Let's give them some stuff. And to claim your stuff, email Jenna at complete graphic design at gmail.com. Complete graphic design. Can you can you make that do like the, the thing like right, Maybe. right here? Are you are you right here? But on your side. Um, we're going to make it, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
We've got final moments for questions here. If you're watching, uh, if you're just creeping in the background, just drop a note in where you're tuning in from. What what city, what country? We always love to see that our message is reaching out around the world in this service for you. Well, we've got India on, we've got Prague, we've got Germany, we've got Spokane in America. Uh, I'm coming at you from Arizona. Derek's up in Kalispell, Montana. What's and uh, there you go. If you uh, if you are interested in, uh, what what is it for? We're going to do the... Uh, to claim your courses, because I don't know how to get a hold of you sure. guys. So if we said your name yeah, yeah. and we gave it to you, complete graphic design at gmail.com. So Jenna will see that. We'll get, you, we'll get you squared away. So what are we giving away? Uh, I've got a confidence course to give away. All right. Who and it? you can you can send it to the same email address. They'll let me know. Uh, I'm going to give it to Fabian. Awesome. Fabian. So Fabian. Uh, and I text, text me Paul, when you get a chance, Is text sure. me who's winning what, so we can verify that in the email. Okay. Um, Fabian gets the confidence course. Was that the one that was from Gmail, uh, Germany, or is that the ferry? Fabian's Prague. Keep up. Prague. Keep up. Dude. All right. Uh, and then who was asking okay, about the graphic design? Who was asking about the graphic design link? Oh. Graphic design link is Fairy Creation over on uh, Behance. Oh, oh, that's okay. I don't have this one pulled up. That's why. Um, was asking about where to get the course. The, let's see. I would like to have a link when we were talking about uh, the the link for. Uh, yes, for the graphic bootcamp. design bootcamp. Fantastic. Oh, Fabian is from somewhere else. Oops, Gustavo's from Prague. <laughs> Gustavo's like correcting me in the chat roll. Thanks, Gustavo. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, all right. So the link for fairy person. Fairy I creation. I don't see it. Fairy creation. Uh, I can send that to you if you email me. Complete graphic design at gmail.com. I'm going to give you access to the graphic design bootcamp just for being here. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, for those of you who want to check it out, you can go to DerekMitchell.com and uh, see my courses there. Uh, some of the courses are on Udemy. Some of the courses are on Skillshare as well. If you guys happen to have memberships to those places, um, sorry, right now I am making a new link thing here on the fly. Should have done this before. Hey, there guess what? It's going to happen. My, my stream deck XL was supposed to be here yesterday. It was stuck in a winter in a snowstorm, so it didn't arrive in time, but it should be here. Probably about the time we get off the call. And then I'll be oh, able yeah? to program all these buttons so you guys won't have to watch me doing this. But if you go to DerekMitchell.com, uh, you can see my courses. I've got some blog posts. I've got some some YouTube stuff. We'd love to have you guys subscribe. Check it out. Uh, and then that is another place to see kind of where everything is in one spot. And then for Paul, PaulGowan.com. Yeah, I space. hope people create more confidence, be able to grow themselves by creating an even stronger personal foundation. And then you can apply those techniques to your relationships, your business. Uh, Derek and I are strategic partners, so we wanted to come on here and just serve at this time of year. With the holidays going on, the end of the year, uh, 2020 has, wow. has been a really great opportunity for a lot of people to learn. And uh, that's part of the reason why we're giving away these courses. We want to encourage that learning. And if you'd like to check it out, Paul actually made a special link for us with a huge discount. So instead of it being almost 50 bucks for the course yeah. we're talking about, if we go to paulgowan.com slash graphic design, is that still active? Is that still available for them to it check is. out? Okay. It is. It's, it's available for your audience only. Cool. Yeah, it's so, over over a 50% savings. Cool. So if you go to paulgowan.com slash graphic design, I think you can snag his competence course for $17. $17. So me on that. It could be give or take. Yeah. Uh, and then there is so much more coming. He actually flew to Montana a couple months ago. We produced more content. So he'll be rolling out a lot of really great courses. Uh, it's been a huge benefit for me because I get to edit them. So I've actually been going through the training while I'm watching the courses that I'm editing. Uh, and I can't say enough good about it. It's, it's really good. If you do the work, I know that as a graphic designer, it's really easy to get stuck in your own head, kind of get stuck in your own way. And this is, this is really good. It's good stuff to help you uh, find success in the business side of your design. 
in the, even just the daily day to day, there's stuff that we talked about in the last live. If you missed it, check it out. But the breathing techniques he shows that really help. I don't know if you're like me, but I get stressed about stuff and I get anxious and the anxiety and I start holding my breath and it's like, let's take a breath. It's going to be fine. Yeah, right? Take that breath. Yeah. And so those, those are super helpful for me. So highly recommend it. Check it out. Paulgowan.com slash graphic design. So there it is. Paul, my just man. Just for your audience. Just for you. I guys. think that's a wrap. I think, I think we are through all of the questions. Cool. We've made some progress on the client assets to show that behind the scenes work. If Dirk was flying, because uh, I it was a blur for me, uh, and you, it might be a little too advanced for you. Be, be sure to check out Graphic Design Bootcamp. That's going to walk you through the basics of what he was doing. If you were more advanced and you think you can catch up and maybe you just missed a couple of the keystrokes, go ahead and rewind this video. If it's going to be available on YouTube, slow it down to half speed or like me, I got to watch this stuff on quarter speed. And that way you can see exactly what the shortcuts were and what his process is. And that way you can mimic that and get in the game, start getting clients even sooner. Awesome. Thank you so much, Paul. I'm going to go ahead and play the outro video with some more details for you guys. We will be having a live streaming schedule coming out now that we're getting some routine and some rhythm to this. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be sending it on the email. If you're not part of our email list, gosh, I don't have a way for you to join right now easily. Uh, I will fix that. There will be a place on my homepage to join the email list so you can be on the notification squad. But until then, go to youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell. Uh, subscribe right there. And then we will always be broadcasting to YouTube as well as Facebook, as well as Behance and everywhere else. But at least that way, when I go live, you'll get a notification and you can jump in for a chance to win awesome prizes. Uh, we'll be doing some creative market giveaways, some like $25 and $50 gift cards for you guys. That'll be coming up soon. Uh, so stay tuned. And that's all I got. Paul, thank you so much for your time and for jumping in. Uh, we'll catch up with you offline to wrap up those graphics. Everybody yeah, else have so an awesome fun. weekend and catch up with you next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say, thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.